Hey everybody, Bricklibber18 here today with a four-part video of how I sort and store my Lego. This four-part video series is going to be broken down into different areas of my Lego room where I store my Lego pieces. In video one, we're going to take a look at how I store my most uncommonly used Lego pieces as well as my slopes. In video two, we're going to take a look at this colorful storage container where I store most of my mainly used Lego pieces as well as how I store my circle pieces and my tiles. In video three, we're going to take a look how I store things like plates, my vehicle parts, as well as my minifigure parts. And finally, in video four, we're going to take a look how I store my Lego bricks, just the regular bricks, as well as my instruction manuals. Gluing your LEGO sets and mocks protects them from breaking, but it stops you from ever using those parts again. LEGO allows you to glue and unglue your LEGO sets so you can keep them safe, but use the parts again in the future. Visit the link in the description to learn more and check out LEGO in all its glory in my LEGO video. Subscribe to BrickLover18 for more daily LEGO videos. Welcome to part one. Let's take a look at how I store my slopes. So I actually have this wall mounted container thingy divided right down the center. Over here on this side is just regular slopes, so what I mean by regular slopes is like non-inverted, and I have each of them divided into categories. So this is red and black and both grays, which I'm going to have to divide up soon. Here I have like printed slopes and things like that, so if it's printed it goes in here. I have white slopes as well as blue slopes. And then up here I have a lot of the ones that I have a lot less quantity of, like the yellow and the tan and the pink and the trans clear and the orange and the brown and then this one's empty and this one's got green and this one's empty as well. Over here on this side of the container is actually inverted slopes. So as you can see there I have blue slopes and gray slopes and red inverted slopes and then I have green and black and white and pink and brown and orange and empty and I think there's supposed to be tan in there but I don't have any as well as yellow. Now let's take a look at the bins on this bookshelf. Believe it or not, I used to store 99% of my LEGO collection in these bins. Now, I don't even store probably 20% in it. First off are these two smaller shelves that I used to store all my LEGO City vehicles when they're not in my city. Over here in the rest of the shelf, I tend to store the things that I don't use very often when making LEGO mocks or even just building with LEGO. In this bin over here, I have wheels and axles and things like that. In this bin, I just have a bunch of leftover train track pieces. Over here in this bin, I keep all my sloped plates and plate, you know, wedge plates and things like that. In this bin, I keep like windshields and pieces for vehicles. In this bin, I keep a bunch of empty poly bags that I've opened up and stored here. In this bin, I just keep a bunch of Duplo pieces. In this bin, I just keep like Lego Robotics and Lego Mindstorms. In this one I keep like curved bricks and wedged bricks as well as sports pieces. In this bin here I just keep a bunch of kitchen Lego supplies like my Lego chocolate molds and Lego cookie cutters. Over here in this overflow bin I call it is where I keep bricks that I have a large quantity of that I can't store with the other pieces like that kind. In this very bottom bin here I have a, just a bunch of sets that I've disassembled and no longer have built. Right beside the bookshelf here in the other table I have this bin of Lego base plates that I just keep tucked in there because I don't use them very often. Thanks everybody so much for watching part number one of how I sort and store my Lego pieces. I really hope you enjoyed and don't forget to check back next Saturday for part number two.